So around March this year, I decided to build a pair of speakers. I bought them as a kit from Solon, which is a company in Quebec that sells high-end speaker parts. My dad built the same set of speakers before me, so I had a bank of knowledge to tap if I needed it. I started out on my own, because I wanted to try to figure it out without any outside help. This is where I made mistake number one, using a level as a measuring stick. Don't do this. Just don't. When I was measuring out pieces of plywood, I was also making mistake number two, using a sharpie as a marking tool. Sharpies make wide lines that are hard to follow and are much wider than a saw blade. Doing this meant that my cuts were uneven and inconsistent between pieces. In this video especially, you can see that the lines I'm making are not straight. I'm surprised I didn't catch it. Also, here's the slow motion sawdust blowing clip I know you were waiting for. Welcome to mistake number three, cutting these holes out with a jigsaw. It's really inaccurate and it isn't hard to permanently mess up the holes due to how f***ing difficult it is to cut circles with a straight blade. This doesn't really count as a mistake, but don't sand the pieces by hand if you have an orbital sander, it's a complete waste of time. Also, when you're sanding the sides, use a belt sander and a square to make sure the pieces are all the perfect size. It's also a good idea to sand every piece of a certain size together by clamping them to each other. This will make them all equal in size. Looking back on these videos, it's amazing the amount of mistakes I made that should have been obvious issues. I kept going though, and eventually, I glued all the pieces together. Alright, I'm not super sold on the idea of doing these myself because as you can see, they are quite different. Like at first glance, they look similar, but then you look at them a bit further and like those corners are different. This part on the first speaker is just absolutely atrocious. You can definitely tell this is the first speaker I did. It looks really bad. You know what though? I can fix this, I think. So I've done a good bit of thinking and I've decided that I don't wanna have boxes that look like that in my room, so I'm redoing both of them from scratch. This time I'm using a pencil instead of a sharpie to draw my lines, and I'm using a Dremel tool to cut the circles instead of a jigsaw. Look at this beautiful circle. Here's a shot of me cutting that circle. I used a sort of compass piece to keep the tool going in a circle. This part took me a while. Since this is a shared space, I needed to clean up, so I swept all my loose pieces and put them where my parents probably wouldn't find them for a few days. After that, I sanded all the pieces together with the belt sander. I didn't get any clips because I was afraid my camera would get fine sawdust inside its components. Then I soldered the circuit boards, which were thankfully built for people as smart as the average League of Legends player, so I didn't have much trouble with them. I then glued all the pieces together with the correct glue this time, and held them together with clamps and brad nails. All this extra preparation didn't save me from everything though. Once the glue was dry, I sanded the sides to be more uniform and put a coat of primer on the boxes. Then I painted them. This part was really fun because I finally got to make the unique part of the speakers, other than the fact that they were built by a literal monkey. Once the third coat of paint had dried up, I left with my brother for the weekend on an important work trip. Oh sh! Yo! Holy sh! Corona rules were followed, don't worry. This is basically a montage of me realizing I have an IQ slightly lower than a piece of corn and messing up the size of the holes. I also stuffed the boxes with solid dampening as well as fluff in order to deaden the space inside the boxes. Then I got 
got my brother who does crazy stuff like this to help me with the final soldering. I'll put the link to his channel into the description. It's definitely worth checking out. Once we were done with that, the speakers were done. I connected it up to a vintage amp I bought to use with them, and I can personally say with absolutely no bias at all that they sound awesome. Were they worth the discovery that I'm at the mental state of a Neanderthal? Totally. Other than the fact that my brain reenacted the Battle of Endor with itself multiple times, playing the role of the stormtrooper who hits a tree and dies, it was a fun project and I would recommend it to anyone who has the tools. Feel free to text me on Discord if you're taking a similar project on and I'll coach you through it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!